Hi, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Tonight I want to talk about resizing scroll saw patterns. This is a question I get pretty often and a lot of you like to take the patterns that you download from my blog and customize them a little bit and one way to customize the patterns is to make them smaller or larger uh, depending on what your particular needs are. Now there's always been a program out there called Rapid Resizer, uh, a program by Patrick Roberts that does a great job of resizing these patterns, but it's been a little bit expensive, so some people used it, some people didn't. Uh, it's been a popular program in the st uh, stained glass community for some time, and uh, also a lot of scroll sellers have used it. Well, recently Patrick uh, contacted me, and he has created a new online version of the program that allows you to upload patterns to this particular page and then resize them. Now the program or the web page allows you to resize uh, the patterns up to three pages uh, in size for free, but anything over that is a subscription model of $12 a year for unlimited enlargements. Now the great news is that Patrick is allowing readers of the Scroll Saw Workshop to resize patterns to any size as long as they are downloaded from the Scroll Saw Workshop for free. Uh, so this is a great new feature uh, for my readers and I really appreciate Patrick allowing uh, us to do this. So to make this work I created a small interface program that you'll be able to download from my blog and what it allows you to do is load a pattern from your hard drive that you have downloaded from my blog and select the page you want to resize and then have it transferred to Rapid Resizer Online where you'll be able to set the features and the different dimensions you want to uh, set. So with that I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use this program. It's really simple. Simply click the load button, navigate to the directory where you store the patterns you've downloaded from my uh, website or from my email newsletter. In this case we'll do the number one dad pattern. What that will do is open that pattern onto your computer and the reason we do this is because we want to select the page out of this pattern book that we want to resize. Uh, we don't want to upload the whole book because that's just too much for the website to handle. So once it opens, go ahead and scroll down to the page that has the pattern on it. And up here you can see that that happens to be uh, page 3 of 3. So over here in the page number box, type the number 3. Now all we have to do is click the resize button. That pattern will be downloaded from my blog into the Rapid Resizer uh, online website. And the first page that comes up will be where you are able to crop the pattern part that you want to resize. So to get a good accurate resize, let's go ahead and take our bounding box and drag it around this part of the number one dad pattern that we want to resize. And this just allows us to get a nice accurate resize of that particular part of the pattern. So you can see here that I've got the bounding box set around the number one dad pattern. I'm going to click the crop picture button. That will bring up the part of the pattern we want to resize cropped and allow you to select certain features. Now I'm going to skip over these features for right now except for one uh, because they're not really needed for my patterns. But the one that might be useful to some of you is this tint red. And when you click on this tint red, it will change my pattern from black to red outlines. Now a lot of scrollers out there like to print red out or cut red outlines because uh, they like uh, the vision of being able to see the red lines better. Uh, I personally like to cut black lines, but if you do like to cut a red line pattern, this will be a way to convert my patterns to a red line. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for right now and click the next button. And on the next page, we have the width and the height of that particular cropped part of the pattern. And in this case, uh, the width of that pattern is 5.59 inches. Uh, let's go ahead and change that. Let's say we want the uh, width of that pattern to be 8 inches. I can type in 8 there, and as long as the checkbox is in the proportional setting here, the height will be set automatically for you to keep the proportions of the pattern correct. Uh, you can, of course, turn this off and change the proportion of the pattern if you would like. The next box here is the particular size of paper we have in our printer. 
page orientation will leave it automatic. You can have it print a border around each part of the pattern. Uh, just a preference, you can turn it on or turn it off, either one you want. If we look down here next to the resize button, you can see that this pattern printed out at 8 by 14 is going to require two pages. Click the resize button. The rapid resizer online will do its scaling and will create a PDF file that you can see here is two pages. Let me zoom out of this a little bit. There's page one. There's page two. So when we print this out, we will now have two pages of patterns. Uh, we can simply tape these two pages together to get one large pattern that we can apply to our wooden cutout. So again, I want to thank Patrick Roberts for allowing uh, the readers of the Scroll Saw Workshop to use this program for free and uh, to at unlimited size. So that's a really nice feature for uh, those of you that like to do custom patterns. And again, this little program that I put together, this interface program, just simply allows you to select the pattern that you've downloaded and select the page number. If you go directly to the Rapid Resizer online, you can see that you can upload any pattern you like, but you don't have at this point uh, the ability to select a particular page number. Uh, I know Patrick's going to add that feature or he's talking about adding that feature later. And uh, once he does, you'll be able to just use this uh, part of the program to do my patterns also. But in the meantime, I put this together for you so you could select the page number. Uh, I just wrote this program last night, so I haven't had a chance to uh, do a whole lot of testing of it. I think it's pretty stable. I think everything's working well, but if you have any problems, let me know, and uh, we'll work on getting all the bugs worked out here as quick as we can. So uh, again, download this program to your computer. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. I'm Steve Good. Thanks for being here with me at the Scroll Salt Workshop, and we'll catch you next time.